Damn. You know, you can't help but feel sorry for Ortman, too. I mean, I don't know if she wasn't as broken, aka didn't have as much emotions as the other two. Or if she just knew and acknowledged it a long time ago and accepted it. But uh, that... That's not something you want. I don't know. I really don't know what to say to that. I really have no idea what to say to that. I need to gather my thoughts here for a minute. I mean, that hit pretty well. They did a good note hitting that. And the fact that they didn't include Ortland in that, on that, just drives that point home a little bit more. I'm not sure exactly what that point is. I can't really put it into words, you know, but... That, that hurt, you know? Again, they literally said she's not has broken. I don't know if I believe that, though. Because, I mean, her sprite and her lack of really like, saying anything at the beginning of the most recent battle. Like, to me, that didn't tell me that she wasn't as broken, that she didn't have as much of a heart. That kind of told me that she knew that and she had already accepted it. I don't know. Ah, the sun. Destructive. Oh, the Clone Wars series was so good. It was so good. I remember that episode. I watched that episode a couple times, actually, you know. That was a good one. <sighs> but, man, I, like I said, I can't really put into words what exactly kind of feeling that gave me. You know, feelings can be hard to describe sometimes, but I definitely felt something there. But let's continue. Section 12. You who was like the spring sunshine. I feel like this is going to focus around those two Valkyries we just killed. Also, it just occurred to me, Scotty is probably not going to want to love us anymore. She's probably going to want to kill us at this point. <clears throat> oh. Peperoncino. Ah. Uh, I don't... I've done a voice for him before. I can't remember what it was. Damn it. Are you getting enough sleep, honey? You'll be in no position to lecture Caddick if you aren't taking good care of yourself, you know. I always knew you were diligent and efficient, but I didn't have you figured for the sort to keep things bottled up. Be honest, have you looked in a mirror lately? You might not have any bags under your eyes and you look healthy enough, but you, some, you seem completely listless. Anything on your mind, honey? I'm here to listen if you need to vent for a bit. But he still doesn't know about Russia. I don't think there's anything, any way I'd be able to hide it from him if I started talking. I'm fine. No need to worry about me. I don't have time to talk right now in any case. But thanks anyway, Pepe. It was nice of you to call me. Oh, don't you worry, honey. I was the one missing you, you know. It's nothing but stuffy men around here, so you are just a breath of fresh air. I really should say, though, that your perfect knight is a little bit of a disappointment. He's obviously not doing your mental health any favors. You're Seth to Seth? Yes, and yeah, no. Will I be peace? Yes. Yeah. I mean, really, the Sith, if... See, I don't really... I know a fair bit about Star Wars, but, like... One thing I don't think I've ever really, like, concretely confirmed is if the dark side of the Force actually has a corrupting influence or not, you know? Because if it doesn't have a corrupting influence and people just... I mean, if it doesn't have a corrupting influence, then, you know, the Sith are just the people that use it for the wrong reasons, you know? You can live with emotions, you can have that kind of power and not be evil. And maybe if they... Oh, that still has water. Why did I put that over there? Maybe if the Sith, you know, didn't have the Jedi to play off of as the whole bastions of control your emotions, don't use the Force for anything except for meditation and that kind of stuff, and to maintain neutrality, 
maybe this set wouldn't actually be so bad. Okay, never mind. Strike all that I just said there. Yes, I suppose that's true. He is why I've been so worried, but... How are things with your lost belt king? I hear she's nice as those so as these swords go. Yes, she is. Queen Scotty protects the people left in Scandinavia in a godly way. But it is the, one, the way of one who, abs who is absolute in all things. She talks of love, but her version of it is so great that I can't even fathom it. But I see, and Koyan isn't exactly dependable when it comes to those sort of things. Okay, then I need to say this. I know it might be the last person you want to hear this from. But your Lost Belt tree is impressive. I mean, it's already spitting out seeds. Gonna head to work for now. Good luck with the rest of the spot. Thanks, Draconic. Uh, I'm likely to even, I'm likely going to still be at this tomorrow, and tomorrow's stream will be a little bit earlier than this one, but yeah. I'm still going to be at this for tomorrow, but thank you for the wish of good luck. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we'll get more anniversary news soon, Draconic, and hope to see you next time. There are lightsabers in the Star Wars Republic. Public. Really interesting. Only well, because this lost but soil happened to be rich, I can't take any credit. Besides, they'll wither away. And if it only managed to keep a tiny sample, then I could have had something to report to Lord Castalia. No, no, no more pouting. Chin up, honey. The fact that you've got any seeds at all proves your tree's growing well. And that means you have a great relationship with your Lost Belt's king. You're doing great, Ophelia. So, wait. Seeds. Was that what we fought? Was what that one thing outside the Fiery Palace a seed of the tree? So, I wonder if that means the tree is somewhere around there. Thank you. This is separate from the whole crypt deal, but I'm going to give you some advice. Go easy on yourself. Huh? I don't mean as a mage, I mean as a woman. You may not like wearing makeup, but a little foundation wouldn't kill you. Your skin might be smooth and blemish-free now, but do you really think that'll last with all the stress you've been putting yourself under? Boss tells the son was lying or telling half truth and intending to bring peace through subjugation slash death. I mean, again, in its own way, Anakin did bring balance to the Force. The Force was very heavily skewed in the way of the light, you know? You've got a lovely face, honey. Don't hide it behind, always staring at the ground. Besides, don't you want to look your best for Woody May? Yes, I do. I can't put anything past you, can I? I could just call it like I see it. <laughs> I still have a long way to go myself. I really have no business intruding so much on your secrets. Have I much? I'll just love it. Anyway, I'd better go. Besides, I'm worried about our dear Caddock. It'd be nice if I could get in touch with Russia, but he just refuses to answer my calls. Oh well, if we can't get in touch with him now that Caldez showed up there, I guess that's kind of an answer on its own. So when Hilda's finally awakened, so much for all that work to keep her a secret. And there's this chick again. You again. What do you want? Are you here to scold me? Are you saying I should have killed her when I had the chance? I tried, believe me, I really tried. But... I just couldn't do it. I know she died once when her love was un went unrequited. That's why I just couldn't bring myself to kill her. Ah, she sees herself in Bryn. That's not because I saw myself in a... <laughs> or not. I'm not so narcissistic as to compare myself to a legendary Valkyrie. I just thought I could never do what she did. I flinched instinctively. Brynhild is stronger than I'll ever be. Everything about her and the way she lived her life. How could I ever kill someone like that? Especially by using the demonic sword of the man she loved. Yeah, the timing. The timing. Both Quogs and Stars have motivational statements, observations, and conditions that guide people to live their lives well. You're not wrong there. I do remember I can't I can't recite the creeds exactly. But um yeah, I I do remember that they held more than just like the creed. They had proper, like, more thought put into them. If I could if I couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. And then the queen decided to love her. That meant she had to be kept alive. Did this figure just blink? Hang on. 
It just blinked. Interesting. So we got some sort of acknowledgement. So I... Talking to yourself again. I see being a cryptic doesn't keep you from feeling lonely at night. You really are a woman, aren't you, Ophelia? Emotion yet peace. Passion yet serenity. Ignorance yet knowledge. Chaos yet harmony. Death yet the force. Shut up. Heh. <laughs> what are you glaring at me for? Isn't there some more, someone else you should be trying to get rid of? Me? I can't wait to see what happens next. Be quiet and go away. I don't recall ordering you to leave your spirit form. You did hear the news, right? It didn't take long for Thrud and Hilda to get themselves killed. It's only a matter of time until Brynhild and Caldea shall appear again. I can't wait. Let's see. To put it in terms you understand, Master. Sunday is close at hand. Ah, what a feeling. See, I'm not sure I like this Sigurd. He's clearly possessed by something, and I don't like whatever is possessing him. Sunday. No, please. Go away. You can't come here. Stay away. Mash. Lord Kustaria. Oh. I thought that she somehow... Wudame was coming here. Commander Ortland, returning to base. Ortland? The three of us commanders decided to engage the enemy alone. We were defeated. We lost over half of a hundred brass produced units, and commanders Third, Thrud, and Hilda killed. The units returned to the castle's underground hangar. Thrud and Hilda both disappeared after their deaths. My sisters and I underestimate our enemy's capabilities. It seems that the Caldeans remain permanent power and resources are sufficient to let me just know that Brynhild has awakened and joined them. Then again, it almost seemed to me as if... As if Thrud and Hilda wanted our sister to destroy them. Or Lind. You're crying. No. No, I'm not. Thrud and Hilda couldn't have possibly just fought to die. They were both genuinely trying to kill her. They used their full power in that attempt, but they were still defeated. I... I should be proud that they each died a warrior's death, and yet, for some reason, water keeps dripping from my eyes, Ophelia. That's not completely inexplicable. I am, after all, a little broken myself. Okay. Okay, so maybe she... I, that kind of... Again, I'm kind of seeing both ways. Either she's not as broken, or she knew it already. Except, I don't know. It's not really harder to find out, especially if you see the trailer. Of the Lost Belt? I did see it. Hmm. I don't know. I thought it might be Fafnir originally, but I was told I was close, but not quite, so... And I was told it was not the sword itself, so I'm not sure. I can never be like a mass-produced unit. I can understand why they did that, at least somewhat. We... We were moved to choose how we would die, even though we weren't given the order to do so. That's how much we love our sister. I see. So even you, or rather, all of our grace, can't help but cling to the ones you love. That's right, Ophelia. Allow your heart to open to love. Zerkers and assassins. Um, we're gonna put Melt back in the front lines here. Bond 8 Melt. Oh, she's getting so close. So, so very close. Alright, let's go. Also, I wanted to check the FGO subreddit to see if there's any news or anything yet. Alright, so... I trust you all understand why I ordered you here to make your report before going to rest. Deputy, but to be clear... We are still in a state of emergency. Without the Paper Moon, we can't hope to escape this Lost Belt, but since we need to navigate the Void Space. So I want you to understand it was incredibly difficult for me to order you to write a report after you are so exhausted from working so hard over the past week. Took your sweet time getting to the point. Anyway, great work, you two. One of that also, another person finding out is knowing... One of the most important figures in Norse myth. Foo -foo! Thank you, thank you, Miss Monier. But it's okay, though. 
We thought it was important to write up that report. Right, Senpai? Finding out without the game revealing it to you. <sighs> Finding out without the game revealing it to you. I'm going to have to draw on what I know from God of War 2018 then, which isn't too much actually, but... <clears throat> I gotta say the second one, because that's the truth. Oh, I'm sorry for dragging you into it then. Yep, well done with the report. I already looked it over. Bottom line, you two did great. Way better than I was expecting. For one thing, you recruited not one but two heroics to our side. First Napoleon Bonaparte, Emperor of France. That's me. It's a pleasure to meet you in person, Tidy Mademoiselle. Foo -foo! Foo. You too, your Imperial Majesty. And then we have... Hello, everyone. It's nice to meet all of you. I'm sorry it took me so long to introduce myself. I'm Bryn Hilt, a heroic spirit from proper human history. I'm happy to lend you my strength. Did you say Bryn Hilt? Then you must be the Valkyrie who killed Sigurd. I am. Foo. It doesn't appear in God of War. Okay, that eliminates Balder, who is my guess. I don't know. I mean... I mean, again, they keep focusing on the birds. At first, I thought that Odin might be around in some capacity, perhaps. But then we got introduced to Sitenai, and she has Freya inside of her, which kind of... I don't know. Appear in a Thor movie. I'm gonna be honest. I've only seen the first um, Thor movie. <laughs> yeah. No. The no. The first two. I have not seen the third movie. So. Ooh, Hell, Hella, or whatever. Her, I can't pronounce her name properly. Is Bropolian's secret trump card in his his hat? Ooh, he does need his hat. He still needs that big hat that Napoleon is known to wear. We're all technical advisor. I'd say victory is as good as ours now, wouldn't you? Perhaps we'll even get to see the Bryn Hills legend reenacted before our eyes. I don't know. I don't like to count my chickens before they've hatched. Besides, Sigurd isn't our only enemy here. We've also got to contend with this Lost Field Kings, Scotty. And there's Koyan, who's showed up here as well, plus that other Crypto Ophelia. Well, I'd say that out of these three, it's pretty clear who the biggest challenge will be. Scotty, she's an actual goddess here. Yep, she's the unquestioned ruler here. And even more dangerous than Sigurd. I'm still amazed that her magical energy made every flake of snow in this world. Unfortunately, that means she knows what we're up to. I think I can hide us from her while we're stationary, but she's bound to notice when we get moving. She might not treat us like enemies now, but if we do make an enemy of her, there will be nowhere for us to hide. In which case, there will be no surprise in the opposition or making any sort of escape. Right now, I'm just hoping it doesn't come to that. We have no way of being sure, won't. There is no telling how she might respond when she learns we mean to cut down the tree of emptiness. I guess so. She might even decide to attack us on the spot. Hmm. So, if I got us said that we shouldn't leave the tree for later, I guess we shouldn't ignore her. You there, girl. You saw you obtained this information from a goddess. Yes, this girl was an amalgamation of three different divine spirits. Well, then you're absolutely sure, see? Yes. Hmm. If that's a consensus of multiple divine spirits, we definitely can't ignore it. Very well, then. It seems we have no choice but to make cutting down the tree of emptiness a top priority. As of now, this is just as important as learning out Sigurd and taking back the paper moon. I think you're right. It looks like the tree of emptiness is more dangerous than we originally thought. Still, that doesn't mean we should be reckless about making an enemy of Scotty. As I recall, Sol said she stopped Sigurd and from the Valkyries from killing you. That seems to be an excellent sign that we can reason with her. Push comes to shove, I can always dazzle her with my exquisite... Charm and oratory skills. Yeah, it might end up well coming to that. Just based on what you've told us. I get the sense that Scotty is trying to determine who's the right us or the cryptors. I mean, if she weren't, wasn't, I'm pretty sure the Shadow Border would have been buried under an avalanche by now. So that means the current enemy is Ophelia. Our most pressing foe right now is the traitorous cryptors, particularly Ophelia, as well as her servant. Indeed. Right now we need to take on Sigurd with the team we've gathered. Brynhild's noble phantasm was made when she killed Sigurd, so it should be up to the task again. Yes, by my spear and soul, I promise I will bring Sigurd to a heel. Don't forget about me. Let's not be confused about this. As far as I'm concerned, you're all part of my new Ar Grande Armée. Ar Grande Armée. 
If you're looking to win, I'm the man for the job. As they say, victory lies ahead. Well, I definitely have high hopes for you. No, I don't know about this new Grand Dame, Twaddle. To be clear, I have high hopes for your potential as well. In particular, the trump card you said you attained when you materialized. You've watched that spot trailer again. Try to research a character you don't recognize. Know that you'll learn. I might have to do that. Actually, I was hoping you'd be so good as to tell us what it is already. Sorry, no can do. That goes against everything a secret weapon of last resort stands for. Sorry, I can't oblige my brilliant mademoiselle. Hm. Still, I could get so I could get used to this mademoiselle stuff. Anyway, I take this means we can also count on this divine spirit amalgamation to help us out. Yep, I can't promise anything at this point, but I'm fairly certain she'll join us if we can make our way that far into the castle. Or the one in the dungeon. Let me see. Ah, yes. Here on, here's the page. Hmm. Hmm, I see. A daughter of the Ironsburn family. Hmm. This could be a stroke of good luck. Fofo! <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, I needed a drink. The Ironsburns had relatively little contact with the clock tower, but my family is one of the few with some connection to them. In fact, I'll have you know our music homunculus technique is... Why don't you save that for another time, huh? Say, our next smoke break or something? But I'm not a smoker. That's good, Gordy. That's good to hear. Alright, so we've got giants wandering about in every different part of this land, along with at least a dozen more mass-produced Valkyries. It's that kind of military might that normally keeps Scotty's castle and Petra fortress. But at this point, she's still waiting to see how things play out, which means we should actually be able to get into the pal into the place. So we'd better wrap things up before she changes her mind. That's true. Every based on everything we've seen so far, the Queen doesn't want to go on the attack. I don't believe she would treat us as an obstacle, unlike the Valkyries. That lady's about all about love. She's as good as said she wasn't going to interfere. That's just the sort of woman, or goddess, she is. Those mass productions will give us grief again if their commander loses it, like earlier today, but at least we shouldn't have to worry about the giants. That said, there are some real tough fire giants hanging out there too. Still, none of this is beyond your ability to deal with, so to put it all together... We have Brynhild, with exceptional mythological affinity for one of our major foes, Napoleon Bonaparte, who excels at tech directing armies... And protection from Sid tonight, the Divine Spirit Amalgamation. I see that gives us pretty good odds. As our goal is to take out Sigurd and raise with the Queen, killing both birds with one stone. Or at least two stones close, thrown really close together. The only thing that we can't really count for much as I wish otherwise is the Crypter's Mystic Eye. Oh, I think I can do something about that. Really? I think we, that might mean we're good to go. Oh, Our goal is to take back the Paper Moon and learn the location of this lost Wall Street of Emptiness. As far as locating either, we'll most likely have to cut through the crypt again like we did in Russia, or get the Queen to tell us herself. The latter's a tall order, but the former, not entirely impossible. If things end up getting a bit rough, Gordy can step in with his mad charm and oratory skills. Indeed, just sit back and let me take care of it. Her frozen heart won't last a minute against the sizzle of my extra crispy bacon and eggs. <laughs> oh, Gordoff. Your card. I am really growing to like Gordy. I'm really, really growing to like Gordoff. He's a cool dude. Oh, you mean you're not gonna use Mage after our truth serum or something? You're a real softy for a mage. It all depends on the situation. If push comes to shove, I always have my gorf my golf punch to fall back on. Although I don't see someone with misted eyes being all that receptive to my charms. Not to mention that Tool warned me that I would be the one in tears if I tried going up against a woman. Tool? Who's Tool? I honestly don't know off the top of my head. We can cross that bridge when it comes to it. Besides, this all assumes we can beat Sigurd. Once we defeat a heroic spirit of this caliber, I feel I might just kind of roll over. You're really relieved to hear that, aren't you, Director? Don't be ridiculous, I'm simply willing to use the planet with the greatest chance of success. Alright, so it's settled. Shadow Border will keep heading towards the castle in Oslo. We'll need to stop in Torsby, since it's too dangerous to keep driving at night, but even so, we should arrive before noon tomorrow. I'm sorry, Mashin' Soul. 
I know there's a child waiting for you in one of these villages. The less contact we have, the better. Poor Gold Gordolf. Gordolf's teacher was too little. Okay. Gotcha. I'm sure you're well aware of this, but for them, our very existence is well. I know. And that's sad. Oh man, are we not going to actually see Gerda again? That's actually going to be kind of sad. Yes. I'm going to play the Lost Belt trailer again. Real quick, so... Ophelia. That's Sigurd. That's Mashu. Sherlock. Gerda. Um, Valkyries. I saw Napoleon there. Brynhild and Children. Gerda, Mashu, Napoleon... Um, gosh, it just flows so fast there at the end. Wait, who is that? Who is Brynhild facing off at, against at the very end there? Uh, I'm gonna go to the deck after the sunsets. There's Sigurd again. Gerda. There's something Bryn was. But or somebody Bryn was fighting. Oh, hello, Sol. I just came out here to look at the stars. Would you mind if I joined you? Not at all. Feel free. Thank you. Hmm. Yeah, I'm sorry for that. Please pay no mind. It's my nature to kill. That is, at least, the sort of heroic spirit that humanity has made me out to be. This spirit was meant to kill heroes. In a sense, it's a noble phantasm designed to kill those truly heroic souls, those worthy of my love. It's the purpose of my existence. There is no more perfect spear for me who killed a great hero. Yes, Gordoth Music was right. I'm the Valkyrie who killed Sigurd. Indeed, there is no better way to describe me. He didn't mean anything by that. He he can be a little bit of a dummy sometimes, you know? It's alright. There was nothing cruel in what he said. My purpose here was to reenact my legend. That is often what my fate leads me. Let me sit down. There's something you should know about me. I used to be an inhuman Valkyrie. I was a being who lacked a human heart, just like my sisters. I was sort of machine, always harvesting human souls to bring to Valhalla for Ragnarok. Souls are the other Valkyries and I harvested were intended to serve in Odin's army. So I carried out the orders I was given and dedicated myself to collecting souls. But one day I ended up guiding a warrior to victory who was not the one Odin wanted. Instead of aiding the elderly, I lent my aid to a young warrior named Agnar. In a rage, Odin stripped me of my divinity and most of my strength, turning me into a mortal woman for all intents and purposes. Before sealing me away in a palace of fire atop Mount Hinderfall, whose flames stretch all the way from to Asgard. That was when. Ooh, backstory. Ooh. That was when Sigurd appeared. He tore through the divine shields, guarding the palace, destroying even destroying my armor and cradled me in his arms. He knew King Gripper's prophecy that said rescuing me would lead to his own death. And he did so anyway. He did not hesitate for an instant. Sigurd said that he had no intention of defying the prophecy or of loving me. But he did. He loved me very much. He called it love at first sight. And I fell in love as well. I told him everything I knew about runes, and our love only grew. Oh, it was Sigurd? But as the prophecy foretold, we would never be married. There was another woman. She plotted to steal Sigurd's memories and betrothed me to another man. I refused, but unfortunately there was nothing I could do. He, Sigurd used the runes I taught him to transform into the other man, and told me... Accept my hand in marriage. He never did understand what the tears I shed that moment truly went. After that, after they took Sigurd from me and betrothed me to Gunnar. Use the YouTube slowdown function to help you. I was actually watching it on the FGO um, wiki. I killed them. All of them. I killed and killed. Over and over. One, one after another. I killed and I killed and killed and killed. I believe I had the innocent gun. Guthormor helped me, but in the end, I was the one who killed them all. Miss Slash neglected something. Someone very important. Okay, I'm gonna watch it on YouTube and slow it down a little bit. I didn't know who had robbed Sigurd of his memories, you see. So I slaughtered the family and followers of Sigurd's new beloved. I did my best to confine myself to the warriors. 
But in my blind fury, I think I managed to raise my spear against the defenseless, even children. I let the fires rage within me, spill out and consume everything. The only man I love is Sigurd, none other. No one, not a single solitary person may touch him but me. Even now I remember screaming that in the flames, laughing wildly. And I, I plunge my own spear into my chest. Lost Belt 2 trailer. I'm dangerous. I want to see Sigurd again. I want to embrace him. I want to kill him. After all this time, there's still a fire burning inside me, endlessly driving me to do that. Even now that I'm a heroic spirit, a shadowed projection by humanity, this version of me inscribed into the throne is based on the moment I killed him, reading the flames of madness. That's why I can kill him. Why I will kill him. That's why I was able to kill my adoring sisters. Why I was able to kill Sigurd before, despite my love. Yeah, isn't that painful for you, though? I'm gonna pause it. We're gonna play it at... We'll go half speed. And I'm gonna... I'll watch it when a um, battle comes up. Because I can kind of auto that. No. What would be painful for me is if he truly doing terrible things here on this lost belt. The cigar I loved was a good, just man. That's why I want to thank you, Sol. I'm so grateful for you taking me in. You could easily have treated me as none more than a weapon to lay his demonic sword to waste, but instead you... Foe! 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 Oh, yes. <laughs> it seems we've been discovered. Come, let us go back. It gets very chilly in Scandinavia at night, and we, want you to, and we wouldn't want you to catch a cold. Come, Sol. Tomorrow is bound to be a day of fierce battle. You should rest now for what lies ahead. All right, Bryn, if you insist. We're moving at 120 kilometers per hour. The engine and dry train are both looking good. We're headed around the mountains just as planned. Only 100 kilometers to go until we reach the Oslo. On that space, we should get there by noon. Assuming we don't encounter any obstacles, of course, let's pray nothing attacks us this time. You should know better than to rely on prayer. True mage is never surprised. He accounts for every possible eventuality. He deals with every bump of the road calmly and efficiently. Just look at me. You don't see me praying. Besides, as an escape drug notice, the only god to pray to here is their queen, who has been around here since the age of gods. Now our only choice is to keep calm and carry on. Our wisdom and knowledge is all the weapon we re need. Nice, very nice. You sounded just like a leader there. When you are a new director is doing his best to keep his chin up and nerves down, you're not going to let him or outdo us, are you? Yeah, good point. Thanks, Da Vinci. Feeling a lot more motivated now. Uh, that was a compliment, right? Oh, well, this is all par for the course of the new mission, way. Excuse me, but... Are you sure this is where I should be? Wouldn't it be better for me to be outside with the others? It's nice of you to ask, Brynhild, but don't worry about it. You're the key heroic spirit in this mission. It wouldn't do for you to be out in front just now. Mash Emperor, Soul, can you hear me okay? Oh! Ha! This win is great. Just make sure you don't get blown away, you two. Understood. Make sure you stay close behind me, so I show you, Master. I should be able to block some of the wind. If that fails, we can always use a rope. We're okay. We are okay. Sorry about that, just hold it a little longer. There's no telling when more mass produced Valkyries might show up. So we need you up there, ready to respond quickly if they do. Holmes and I did design the board to endure bombardments, but there's only so much we can do for that, you know. Fo! 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 Oh, they're here already. No, wait, that's not coming from the sky. Multiple large magical energy signals detected. It must be a group of giants. Yep, I see them. Looks like a real tough bunch, and they're moving to cut off the border's path, too. Monier, hit the emergency brakes. All hands, prepare for battle. You got it. Let's go, private. Get ready to fight, Mesh. Also, I want to know what's going on with Holmes here. Yes, Master, switch your next from standby mode to combat mode now. Go ahead and stop the border whenever you're ready. You're good to go at any time. Alright, so it's battle time. Let us see here. Half speed. That ominous red eyes of Sigurd in that trailer. There's Holmes, there's Gerda, looking up at the Aurora Borealis, 
the Valkyries standing in front of an eclipse, raining down hell on Napoleon. The border swerving through the sand, being flipped over. Bryn playing with children. Gerda cooking soup. Napoleon. Again. Mash. Oh! That was something. Um, Scotty fighting with the Valkyries, Valkyries flying, Nash screaming at somebody, Brynn and Sigurd. Uh, Sigurd and Napoleon against a very big guy. A big guy that was on fire. A oh, big guy that was on fire. Oh! I'm thinking, I'm thinking. It's drawing memories. I can't remember. Big fire guy. Big Frogo. Wars mythology. Big and fire. Big and fire. Sigurd's sword is stronger than a nuke. Damn. I'm getting closer, fire giant. I might burst a blood vessel thinking. Mm. I can't think of it right at this moment, honestly. My brain's starting to get a little bit foggy, to be completely honest, so... I'm sure! If I... Okay. Sometimes the thoughts come to me when I'm not even related, so... Fire Giant. What do I know about the Yotans? They were well broken Ragnarok. Ragnarok is sim is symbolized by a year long winter with the death of Baldur. In Ragnarok, um uh, I cannot pronounce the wolves' names. Consume the sun. Uh, Balder comes back by the end of it. Odin is killed by Fenrir, I want to say. There's the world serpent. Damn it! I can't think! It's at the tip of my head, it's at the very front of my brain, but it's just not coming out! What is it? Not the Amir. I don't think it is. Hey, it's Sazzy! Welcome, welcome, welcome! You've been progressing quite a bit. That is good to hear. That is good to hear. I was I always ask how people are going doing, but you beat me to the punch by telling me how you've been doing. Cause that's good to hear. I mean everything is consumed by fire. Fire. Destroys all nine realms with a fire and a flaming sword. See, they still have not yet learned the lesson. I did not regret. I did not regret deciding to love them, but I admit I did not expect them to be so tenacious. But I will accept that part of them as well and love them just the same. Ah, my human children, my heroic spirits of humanity! What a sorry sight you make! You seem to have confused stubbornness with persistence. By the way, it's Sazzy. I don't know if you were around towards this part of the stream where I showed my friend code. If you need it. Are you sure about this, Your Majesty? They have been causing all sorts of trouble for your lost belt. Are you really not going to punish them even after they destroyed dozens of your precious envoys? Divine punishment is death, and it is not something to be dulled out lightly. Death eventually comes to all who live, so there is no, no need for me to help it along. I wish to only grant mercy and love. Having said that, though the envoys did go into that battle of their own accord, the Chaldeans were overly bold. Perhaps I let them get away with too much. 
They try to enter my castle while riding that wave of success. I'm afraid that may lead to their deaths this time. How deplorable. The knight and the crypt are both engaged eager to fight them, it seems. Are they still out on the bridge? Last I checked, it looks like they're planning to meet our interlopers head on. If it were me, I'd be cutting off their escape first, especially since there's only one way in or out. But I suppose men who've only convinced nobody can ever beat them don't believe in little tricks like that. You mean the demonic sword? I will say this does not does all bring back memories. Grandma's once Odin's sword, as bright and powerful as the sun itself. Sigmund wanted after overcoming Odin's test and passed it on to his son. It's both ancient and newly reborn. Without his, without his command, Sigurd is powerful indeed. Powerful enough to compel even me to keep an eye on him. I do not think there was any human at all of Scott and Navy possible of defeating him. Former goddess, demigod, one of Odin's daughters. Brynhild may have once been the greatest Valkyrie in all of Norse lands, but not even she can defeat Sigurd. Yes, I certainly hope that proves to be true. Freya's supposed to... Freya's supposed to die at his hands or growing up and would have won if he hadn't given his sword away it fights on its own, if wise be he who wields it. So Ragnarok. Hang on. King of Giants. King, King of Giants. King of Giants. Ragnarok. Fire. Sword. The Flaming Sword. Flaming Sword is what really triggered it for me, because Flaming Sword. Wipe small suitor? Suitor I can't pronounce the name properly. Can't pronounce the name properly, but Suter Suter I can't pronounce it. Is that it's possible. There I can see it. So that's Scotty's castle. It doesn't look very heavily armed. In fact, it reminds me of something out of modern-day European architecture. Maybe that's just how confident she is in her rule, or because there's no rebellion here anyway. Either way, there's a hell of a lot of more magical energy swirling around here than there was in the snow plains. That's going to make it a lot harder to tell what's going on in there. Oh, fair brother Freya. Freya had a brother? At least the structure is easy enough to make out. One large bridge leading to the main building. We could theoretically go all the way around and climb up from the base, but we don't have any information to help us with that tactic. Which means this is it, folks. This is where our mission really begins. Oh boy, oh boy. No turning back now. This time I'm not planning on sneaking in or getting captured. This time we're going in guns blazing. It's time to settle the score between the new Grand Armée and the view either and the wielder of that demonic sword once and for all. Speaking of well, now that shouldn't take that shouldn't take long. <sighs> Finally gone. Once we are coming out of the ground underneath the bridge, they already know we're here. Out of the way, they're coming. We're coming through, whether you like it or not. Fa fa, yeah. Let me handle this. Whoa, thanks, but no thanks. You just stay back and keep yourself warmed up for now. Can't tell you're getting warm out in the opening skirmish. That sounds good to you too, Private. You betcha. Ha! You're the focal point of this new Scandinavian Grand Armée. Better get used to it now. Wait, so am I the commander now? Here they come. Make sure to take them all down. Don't let so much as a scratch up the don't let don't let them so much as scratch the shadow border. I know how to read. Yeah, it does look like this section is probably going to be the last one. What section is this again? I kind of lost track. Also, it's kind of funny that the fire giants are using ice doggos. As contempt for both humans and gods. Red eyes as Sigurd. So, but here's the thing. He was summoned... And he's not from this lost belt. I mean, it's entirely possible he's just being possessed. But you would think that Scotty would know if Suter was reside was alive all this time. I don't know. Hmm. I gotta see how. <coughs> <coughs> 
That caught the throat. I gotta see how this plays out. Also, I didn't know that Suter had disdain for humans. I was unaware of that. And Merlin time, it's Merlin time. I like how easy these fights are, by the way. Like, they're a nice, refreshing sort of thing. Only assassins and zerkers are the main enemies. And then, um... The big enemies are the Valkyries, which are riders. Talk about spoilers. I mean, they didn't really spoil it for me. They kind of led me to the conclusion myself really i mean in a way maybe but it's fine i'm gonna say it's fine no real spoilers and i'm gonna be honest had i watched the lost belt trailer a little bit more closely i definitely would have picked up on it because i mean we or at least not maybe not right away but when we see the mooseful themselves you know, they don't exactly look like the big thing that is fought in the trailer. Also, dude, 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 you're trying not to the whole time. Oh, sorry, Max. I mean, still, I'm very interested in how this is going to go. And I mean, maybe Suter does have some role to play. But I don't know what it is. Is he possessing Sigurd? Is he here on the Lost Belt? I don't know what's going on. Did Ophelia purposely summon the worst possible thing possible to this Lost Belt? I'm very interested in finding out. Very, very interested. Formation restricted. Ode to joy. Um, speaking of ode to joy, Saber and Lancer, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> this is like the worst... <sighs> this is like the worst possible options here. So the saber is probably Sigurd, who we've proven that we can kick his butt with Napoleon. I'm gonna switch Melt over to Okita. Yeah. We'll... We'll give this a shot. So we know Napoleon can counter Sigurd, and it's just the weakness to the probably um, Ortland. Who I still don't know if I'm pronouncing that name properly. That is going to be the issue. To feed the Moosful Giants and Ice Beasts. That's all hostiles that emerge underground. Might have a visual on a new hostile approaching from the other side of the bridge. <laughs> That's it. Nothing, nothing changed much, but I can see you have a lot more momentum now than you did before. You've done a lot with the little humans and heroic spirits. Ha! Take the heroic spirits and no heroic spirit. Ain't that right, Mr. Big Shot? <laughs> so good. Hmm. It's been a long time. Last time I saw you, you were being sealed away. You're from proper human history, too, right? Well, that's reason enough for us to fight. Come at me, Brynhild, eldest of the Valkyries, and daughter of Odin. Odin, if you really are a demigod, that makes you worth killing. Just because though I'm a stranger? Because you are, at least as far as I'm concerned. You could claim to be a servant from this lost belt. The change your eye color is not enough to confuse the identity of my quarry. You're Sigurd, son of Sigmund. You're the warrior king who excels in every regard. 
every fiber of my being screams that you're the one I must love and kill. This was never supposed to happen. My actions, my madness in service of justice, unthinkable. But here you are on the other side of this lost belt. You've chosen a path that puts you against humanity. So you won't mind dying now, right, Sigurd? You're going to die here, Valkyrie. I was right. Another hostile is incoming. It's the last time we welcome Commander. So she's here too, huh? Makes sense. I have my suspicions she might still be hung up on what happened last week. Fought. Stand down, Rotland. You were there when our sisters made their final plea. There's no point in you fighting me. You know this. No point and no need. You can honestly fear my, my dance with Sigurd. Stand down. Please. Sister. I've been thinking a lot about the last thing Thrud, Thrud and Hilda said. But no matter how much I think, I cannot understand it. I can believe I feel something similar. It's fleeting, but it's also too overwhelming to describe. That's why I'm taking up my spear, just like Thrud and Hilda did. Force expanding. Combat functionality increasing output beyond safety limiters. Overload. Overload synchronizing magical energy with Gram. Initiating team combat. You're planning to keep up with me. You're a cheeky little thing, aren't you? Well, this should be amusing. I think you mean admirable, Mr. Demonic Sword. You might be real strong, but you're pathetic when it comes to understanding women. I see your little search item is like a big search in the irritating chatter, Archer. I won't be a modern day man like you, some know about the Valkyries, anyways. Such mystics are completely beyond your comprehension. Oh, I don't know about that. I'm actually pretty into mythology. I always made a point to go exploring pyramids when I went on one of my expeditions. Seeing a wielder of a demonic sword and a Valkyrie together like this, it's a dream come true. Really. And well, isn't this something I'm thrilled about? But uh, now that I'm a heroic spirit, I have a knack for crushing mystics. Oh, take your best shot then. You've already tried that absurd absurdly overgrown cannon on me twice. It didn't do a damn thing. The history in Greek. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. <laughs> Ooh la la, only twice? That's nothing. Everyone knows third time's the charm. He's right, you know. This will be the, fight, the fifth time for us. This time I'll do everything I can to, feed, to defend us against Graham. Bro-polian. I like that. Bro-polian. Let's do this, Mashu. Where's he going to next output? Maintaining combat mode. All equipment standing by. I'm good to go. Oh, geek. Sorry, my eyes are a little bit dry out at this point. Fo, fo, fo! Sigurd. Sigurd. Now that I've found you, I won't rest until I've killed you. Hmm. Pardon the yawn. Okay. Fatal battle. Oh, they both have break bars. Fudge, nougat. I'm glad for Bryn's support, but still, this is not going to be nice in the slightest bit. Anti-divine. Literally objectively better against Sigurd than Bryn. Ah, I get what you mean. Ow, that hurt. Ow, bum. <laughs> Decent damage. Oh, you. That sucks. That hurts a lot. Uh, I need to heal you. I have to hope that we live. Do not focus, Propolium. Please do not. That evasion sucks. Okay, so far so good. So far so good. Um. I think this is the time to do this. 
Ropoleon's got a big enough buster. He should be able to knock Sigurd's break bar down here. Not that. And not that. Throw the evasion on him just in case. Doot. Doot, doot. Come on! Yes! Okay. That's a big bar. Oh god, no. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, that could have been the end. Oh, Merry Christmas, indeed. Whew. Okay. Um, no point in that. All right. Power up. And then invents. All right. Come on, Napoleon. Destroy Sigurd! Now, is it possible why? Because I am here. Do it. Yes. Okay, Sigurd is dealt with. Whew. That's the big problem you dealt with now. Valkyrie remains. Good lord, 72 crit stars. The, it's times like these when I really wish crit stars carried over, you know? Because that would be very useful here. Uh, that's not going to be enough, so... Thing is, you've still got a lot of buster buffs going for you. Do do do. Do it like this. Those 22 crit stars could have just, you know, hung on until next turn. That would have been awesome. Sadly, that won't happen. Decent crit, but I'm expecting we need to. This next one's gonna be an uphill battle until we can get at least Napoleon down. Because we need Okita in here. We need an Okita. Especially since we're not even through the first break bar. Don't kill Merlin or Waver. Kill Napoleon, please. That's not Napoleon. That is Merlin, who you need to not kill because he's the only one that'll keep me alive against you. Um, you know. May as well go all in, you know? I'll train Merlin. Napoleon is barely scratching it. 51 stars. Mm. I think a Merlin Blast is probably the one I want to go with here. Merlin Blast. This should punch through this bar at least. Okay, yeah, this bar's done. Now the next bar. Muscle Wizard beats up on a Valkyrie. Pair synchronization. Charge gain. Oh god. I don't think I can deal with an NP this next turn. I can deal with it. It's a slight waste doing that. 
But I can live despite another turn here. Gotta love NP Drain. And if we're really lucky, a stun. Yes! That buys us a turn, but I don't think Merlin's ready just yet. That did good damage, but not enough. One more turn. There's no way I can saw it out for another turn either. Damn. Hmm. They're all dead. Okita should be fine to take them out, so I need to deal as much damage as possible. Oh, that's just a good hit. Good hit. Eh. Alright, so they're all down. That brings in the back line of Okita, Mash, and Arrest. We definitely got this. You thought it was over, but the real fight's just beginning, Hilt or Ortland. I still don't know if that's the right pronunciation. Give me those stars. Not a bad crit. That's annoying. But this is going to be Okita's great victory. Real quick thing check. Uh, ignore defense. Nope. That won't help me here, so... Doot, doot, doot. And for some reason, I thought she had an NP ready. Good night, Valkyrie. Woo! One more arrow of this node. Ooh, an Aurora Steel. Nice. I love me Aurora Steel. I need it. I need a lot. They're very strong, but not unbeatable. They're next, I'll put a stable. The all maintenance function is still working, and both Brynhild and Napoleon are providing me with extra protection. I can still fight. I'm not gonna shut down. Not before we bring that down the demonic sword. Keep the pressure high. Right on, I can tell he's feeling the pain now more than ever. But I've still got some concerns. How are you doing, Brynhild? Think you can keep this up too? That could be a bit difficult. Never thought even Sigurd could be this formidable in a time of war. I thought I understood, but clearly I was mistaken. The Sigurd I knew was from peacetime, when he never so much as went on an adventure. I never imagined facing off against Sigurd with his demonic sword would be so daunting. Ah, oh, what a magnificent hero. Ah, oh, what a frightening man. This is no good. The face of such a strong, confident warrior. I... I have no choice but to set my soul ablaze. Odin seal prototype engaged. Where's all this magic energy coming from? The Odin seal prototype. Power would give it only to sister, not us. Sister, sister Brynhild. Would you truly go so far as to defeat us? I just detected a massive surge of magic energy. What in the world is going on? Wait, is that? The Odin seal? One of the primordial runes from the Age of Gods. It's gotta be hundreds of times more powerful than modern runes easily. And it looks like a spell from the Age of Gods. Closer to true magic than Magecraft. Using that energy in a spell would be one thing, but if you let it all loose at once, it wouldn't just destroy your spirit origin. It would... Light my soul. Yes, it would. Uh, yeah. Stop. By the power of my command seal. Stop. Thank you, soul. You're so very kind. But this is what it means for me to put my life on the line. Forgive me for making you wait so long, Sigurd. I'm finally ready to express my love and kill you once again. What a shame. I thought we could still have some fun together, but then you went and pulled out one of Odin's tricks. I've had enough. No more play fighting. Time to die. Here it comes. Good fellow of the Everlasting Flame refers to both Napoleon and Sigurd. Hold it. Hold it, Saber. How many times have, to have I told you? You're only supposed to kill the servants, but you were going to kill everyone, weren't you? Why, hello there, if it isn't my beloved Ophelia. 
You haven't changed a bit, Archer. I should have killed you when we first met. But did you commend your efforts as much as I hate the result? You just had to go and bring Brynhild here, didn't you? Your honor me, mon chéri. Ma chérie. <laughs> That's enough to make me cry out of sheer gratitude. Ophelia. I see you're here too again. I see you're here again, Mash. Why? Why did you come? It's our duty. Duty? You mean that you feel like you're honor bound to protect humanity? I don't know. I haven't meant enough humans to say whether I feel obligation to them. But even if we end up destroying this lost pet as a result, we can't give up on our world. Just like the Yaga in the frozen world didn't get up on their survival. No matter what happens as a result, we decide to hold our heads high and keep moving forward. Yeah. We will live. Like master, like servant, I see. I can practically see you buckling under the weight of your kilt, that you meet my gaze on blink. You really have grown strong, Mash. I'm nothing like you. I could never be like you. But I still cannot step aside, would me? Lord Kerstarda made a decision, and I refuse to betray his faith in me. Uh oh, here comes our Mr. Guy. Phenomena, Shulfin, off. The Odin Seal, what a marvelous primordial room. Ish, well, S, Nimaus, Glanzen, Sen. My rune is weakening. You shine too brightly. That's what this eye of mine refuses to see that possibility go any further. She's riding phenomena, but she can't be interfering with time itself. Even if it were a noble color, a jewel rank must a guy controlling time should be impossible. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> That's it. That's what I like to see. Pathetic spirit origin can't handle the old seal prototype. Here, now that Ophelia is stopped, all that's left is your spirit core tearing its pelt itself apart. That's it. Squeal. Writhe. Agony. You deserve to crawl in your belly after reducing yourself to nothing more than a human woman. Sigurd. Ah! Miss Goad! No, it's alright. I'm not finished yet, Soul. Please, it's dangerous for you to worry about me like that. Remember what I said. I told you to let me handle her, Miss Goad, and I meant it. Hmm? Phenomena. Suffin, off. No, no more. When experience with your eyes, more than it's sufficient. Reinitiating Odin Seal. Reengaging. Your eye will no longer lead me astray. You aren't truly reminding phenomena. No, it's more of a matter of determining their possibilities. And in that case, one can deal with it like the so. Going Super Saiyan beyond Super Super Saiyan God beyond Super Saiyan. You started it by your servant. It's but urgent cords directly died to your brain and heart. Restoring the Odin Seal now would mean completely destroying your spirit core, sister. What are you? You can't see it anymore, can you? That's because I have no responsibilities. Okay. I have seen powerful magical eyes before. So I will not back down in the face of one of more, even should I belong to a foreign god such as Baylor. Even when my father himself is looking down upon me, I will still kill Sigurd. Out of the way. <laughs> You're a chatty for a damn walking doll. Sigurd! So that's what's going on here. No way, that's impossible. She she actually fixed her mind in place. So, Ophelia's mystic eye guides things along the possibility that she would like, mentally perhaps, with some little hypnotism, even. Interesting. She decided there was only one path forward for her and cut off any other possibilities. How could she do that? I doubt any ordinary human could cut off possibilities through sheer force of will. Not even an ordinary demigod could pull that off, but a demigod, demigod mad enough to burn herself alive. Well, she just might be twisted enough to wield a demonic spear. Sigurd, Sigurd, Sigurd! Sister. Ah, to you who walks the path of evil, I offer my fire, my madness, and my love. I can't wait till this gets animated in the future. Till death do us part, Brynhild Romachia! Because you know they're going to. Brynhild's spear is growing and changing shape. That must be your noble phantasm. The spear made for taking warriors' lives, damn it's huge. Look out for the shockwave. This is my killer spear. The spear made to kill her dreaming dragon slayer, the love of my life. 
Seeker by virtue of who you are, it's impossible for you to avoid my blade. It is the greatest spirit's weight reflecting the depths of my love that will end you in one blow. Conceptual weakness. Nice. It's done. Nice try. But that's not going to work. Whoa. How, how could that be? That was Brit Hilton's normal phantasm, the hero killer. And she just used it on Sigurd, the very man it was created for. It couldn't possibly have missed its target. It should have killed him. So then how is he still alive? It doesn't force its possible honor state to collapse into once he desires. Okay. So it doesn't have any... Okay, I get that. I'm... I understand. I understand. The comprehension is within. The noble phantasm of yours was definitely impressive. But unfortunately for you, I'm not Sigurd. Hey, there's the twist. Alright, one more arrow left on this. Is it a story? It is not. It is a battle note against an archer. Part of me wants to bring along Bryn, but I'm going to be smart and bring along Napoleon. Again. And we're going to bring in our quit our crit queen just in case Napoleon falls. Alright. Let's go. This is the final arrow of the evening. But unfortunately for you, I'm not Sigurd. I'm even one of those hero types the Valkyries yearn for. Huh? What are you saying? Ophelia, release my second limiter. Quickly, the spirit origin won't last long. Personally, I don't mind if... No, I won't let that happen. I can't let your body be destroyed as long as you're in this lost but yours may remain, remain my knight. Four spirit origin ascension, final limited release. Thank you for all in our way, my knight. He's definitely using Ophelia. Final limited released. Commencing eradication, utilizing heroic spirit Sigurd's full capability. I feel so much lighter. It's nice to be finally rid of that awful mask. I can't imagine why he'd want to wear something like this. <laughs> what a nut job. Well, well, so that's what you really look like, eh, hey, lover boy? I see Graham's color change, too, and it looks like you're putting out exponentially more magical energy than before. Ha! <laughs> this ought to be fun. I even like the glasses. They make you look smart, even sensible, no matter how viciously you're wielding your demonic sword. Maybe I should try them myself. I mean these. I'm told they signify the wisdom of the gods or something such, but I doubt they'd look good on you. I don't know, I think they might. Hell, how about this? If you can kill me, you can try them on and find out. Feel the power of my demonic sword? Did he just create a fire by swinging his sword? Sorry, guess I went a little overboard with the trash talk. I meant to dodge out of the way, but I was just a little too slow. It's okay, luckily I was able to raise my shield in time. Messi, did you see that? Didn't look like he inscribed a rune. He just swung this so fast. That, that's true. Remain sharp relies on drawing signals and patterns to shorten the incantation. When Sigurd created that fire just now, he didn't write any runes. Sigurd. No, you aren't Sigurd. You are. Sometimes ice and snow can cause people to freeze to death. People must learn how to survive to the cold if they want to make it through the winter. But without ice and snow, there can be no spring. Without them, the earth can't rest. So you mustn't hate them for being cold. One day, the sun will shine bright again, bring you with it warmth and blessings. Yes, yes, I think so too, Sigurd. People, we can always wait if we must. In the meantime, we can always dream of spring flowers. That's right. Nature is bountiful and varied. There is very little in, the, in it that's completely one-sided. Sometimes it sides with justice. Others, it can be wicked and capricious. But... But what? Fire is the one thing that is best left alone. Fire may have a gentle side, providing warmth that helps one get through the winter. It may even be able to guide people to prosperity. But for my part, I don't think I'll ever make use of fire runes. I've given you a great many runes. You should be capable of all manner of things. You should be able to wield fire far better than humans. And yet you choose not to. Yes, I know that this may be hard for a demigod to understand, but... Quantum mechanics, the Lemur's only existing relationship is everything that only exists when someone is there to preserve it. 
Humans need to fear fire because fire can consume everything. Swords, lives, love, and sometimes even fate. That's why fire runes are the one kind of never use. That's interesting. Sigurd. Sigurd, 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 no. Oh, you are not him. You couldn't be him. Who are you? Who do you think, Brynhild? I show you I truly am Sigurd. <laughs> what a pitiful creature humans are. If only you were a god, you would know what this fire in my soul signifies. Pitiful, pitiful, pitiful. Here, how it's slightly I can't stand to look at you any longer. Here we go. Quantum Gang Zoomers only exists when you to observe it, it only exists when someone's there to observe it. Yeah, quantum mechanics are fun. Quantum mechanics are fun. And third release has indeed engaged. I like Sigurd's final ascension. I like it a lot. He looks a little, he still looks cool as a cyborg ninja though, in his first. Oh, two break bars. Lovely. Dragon Black Spot released. Um, Flame Blade inflict burn during your normal attacks. Immune to mental debuffs. Oh boy. This is gonna be a battle for the ages. I can tell. So we definitely, definitely, definitely need to make sure that we have the invincibility up to the Phantasm. This is gonna smack. Crit rate and debuff immune. Burn. Oh god, the burn's actually gonna be deadly beyond all deadliness. Bad, not bad. Yeah, this burn is gonna be stupid. Don't set X ones because I'd probably open three amps of space. Okay. We can deal with this first break bar without. Oh, crit right up. That's not gonna be nice, is it? Napoleon's pretty tough at the very least against him. Okay. I have no idea. Alright, I'm gonna ask really quickly, everybody. Does breaking Sigurd's first bar give him a charge? Because if it does, then I'm practicing invents now. If it doesn't, then I'm gonna wait a turn for Merlin's invincibility. I am buffing up Napoleon, though, because this is the turn to punch through this break bar. I do not think there's a better time than now. I should save that, though. Mm, do I risk it? Ophelia pr can give him a charge. Oh god, that's dangerous. Don't know when, but not the break bar. The break bar itself doesn't, then. I'm gonna throw evasion onto Napoleon just in case. And then go for it. <laughs> Because you got to sometimes. You gotta take risks. You don't take risks, you don't get the reward. You can't win if you never play. That lovely saying. Smash them. Crit rate up. Okay. Okay, just a crit rate buff. That's still stupidly dangerous, though. <laughs> That hurt Merlin. That hurt Merlin a lot. <laughs> also close. Alright, we might be able to punch through this second bar in one go if we get incredibly lucky here. And I mean incredibly lucky. I don't want to watch. 
Okay, we got this. Whew. Prior to the next episode, if you are watching Ghost, you don't know if anyone is watching it. Ghost is close to Missouri. So, since he goes to both, he's going to be just seven. And the bonus is six. Ha! Waste that charge. Oh, he got guts. That's dangerous. But we're invincible this turn, so we're good. Uh, I was hoping that would give him a charge enough, but it did not. BAQ, get your Merlin out of the way. Quantum Theory is very interesting. I used to be very much into it when I was younger, but haven't really kept up on much, if any, developments. Are you gonna kill Merlin? Or Waver? He killed Merlin, okay. There goes Merlin, there goes he. And here comes the Crit Lully. The amount of buffs are nowhere near as much, but... It should be fine. Photons do the same thing. Okay. That makes sense, too. We got the stun! That's awesome. That stun should help. Oh, I don't. But she is the crit queen. She carried me through Camelot. Common Rider. Carried me. 40 stars. I think we got this. Yep, we got this. Unless this guts is a full heal, of course, in which case I'm gonna be sad. Nope, it's not. Bye bye, Sigurd. Or whoever you are. Alright, that wasn't actually too bad, thankfully. It was a little nerve wracking in spots, but we managed it in the end. Alrighty. Enough. Where's next weapon output? Master, his demonic sword is more powerful than anything we have ever seen before. But I refuse to let him beat me. He may be strong, but his strength is all he has. And we swore we would never lose to empty strength like that ever again. Seba. Shut it! We were just getting to the good part. Stay out of this, Ophelia. Keep your damn mouth shut. Wrong. Ugh. Who are you? Who are you, Sigurd? No. You. What are you doing? Heh. <laughs> Me. I'm... <laughs> I've pierced your armor. Can you feel it? That you who wear Sigurd's face. My spear has destroyed your armor, torn through your flesh, shattered your bone, and cut your spirit core in two. Every thrust of my spear, every cannon shot, every shield bash wore you down bit by bit. And now at last my blade has found its mark. Brynhild! <laughs> Magnificent! What's this? What's going on? We hardly have any picture here. It's impossible to tell what's happening. Did you beat him? So Sigurd has finally fallen to Brynhild's spirit. I'm sure you can, you'll confirm that's accurate. Wait, something's wrong. These magical energy values are strange. Watch out, this isn't over yet. <laughs> That's it. At last, finally, finally, someone managed to pierce Sigurd's spirit core. This is what I've been waiting for. What? 
How I've waited! Now that someone who can defeat me, someone who can kill me has finally appeared. That accursed command spell that kept me from taking my own life no longer matters. <laughs> huh? Huh? Saber, what happened? You can't have lost. My knight Sigurd couldn't possibly lose. That was why. That was why I released your final limiter. Ophelia. This, this can't be happening. No, no, no. The phenomena shriven off. I won't let a new saber be born from Sigurd's destroyed spirit core. Ish, will, s, nimbals, glance and sin. Ha, don't bother. The Valkyrie was kind enough to show me how to get around that. Did you forget that already, Ophelia? Oh no, I'm, I have a bad feeling. True, I might just be another phenomenon myself, but I have a mind and a soul. Ah, uh, ah, uh, no, 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 Mash, I can't stop him. Once he breaks Sigurd, his shell won't be long before he's here. I can't stop him, I can't. And after Lord Kershaw entrusted him to me, the flames, they're coming. Kersh entrusted? Interesting. That's interesting, Kershtaria entrusted. So when I point my turn on finger skyward, above lies the light that illuminates this world. The fire that burns ceaselessly in the sky. The oddly large bar of flame that oversees the entire li It's not the sun. It's not the sun. The star that sits in the middle of the sky. The sun. Oh no. Just now the sun shone intense bright as though responding to my screams. It burns, it burns. This is not what a star is meant to do, even as it hangs in the sky on the precipice of outer space. It begins to undulate like a fetus moving in the womb. This is not a proper star. This is no star made of mere flame. It's far more akin to a magma that bubbles deep beneath the ground, only more foreboding. I wish I could look away, yet my mystic eye still casts its gaze upon the awful sight. There is no possibility of stopping it. Its turbid, fiery streams wiggle and squirm, and now... They spill out. They're falling. They're pouring onto the ground. Oh boy. The sun is falling, the flames are pouring down. Now an enormous humanoid form is taking shape, sliding out of the hole at fault of the false sun, a giant. Yes, it must be a giant, for its form is nothing like any of the others. His body towers over all other giants, the heat he radiates is devastating to all other forms of life. He is the embodiment of flame, he is the fire of the false sun. He is this lost belt's true saber, hiding in the shadows of the soul and spirit core belonging to heroic spirit from proper human history, Sigurd. He is the God Slayer, the cornerstone of Norse Age of Gods, Ragnarok. He is the overseer of this Norse Lost Belt's sole source of heat. He is the ruler of Muspelheim, realm of fire and flame, and destruction incarnate. He is the wielder of the flaming sword, the Dark One, the one destined to kill the gods and in timely waste to all the land. His true name is Sutra, fiery king of giants. Oh, snap. Oh, man, it just got real. I really do hope they explain why Surtur was in Sigurd. I really do hope they do. And while this next section is only two parts, the Lost Belt's darkened. Oh, it's hype. It is hype now. It's hype that is going to carry me through as I sleep. Because it's sadly time to end the stream. I've got work in the morning, and I've been going for about four hours here. So I do have to sadly, sadly end this here. Tomorrow, though. Tomorrow, we will pick this up at the normal time that I have scheduled for Friday's streams. And we will finish this Lost Belt. And I cannot wait. Suter. Surter. However you pronounce it. I should probably look up the pronunciation of some of these names that I'm going to be doing in the future. But damn. who damn. I cannot wait to see what happens. This is going to be fun. But for now, I've been Soul Rack Dragon. I hope that you've enjoyed this stream. If you have, leave me some feedback in whichever way you so see fit. And if you want to check out more by me, you can either follow me here on Twitch to be notified whenever I go live. Or you can check out my YouTube. There should be a link below where all my previous stuff has been published. 
And probably starting next week is when I will be publishing this Lost Belt section by section. That way you don't have to sit through four hours of stream to get to a certain part. But once again, thank you all so much for coming out. I do hope you enjoyed this stream. Surtur is the proper one. Good to know. But once again, thanks for coming out. I hope you enjoyed. Have a fantastic evening, everybody. And I hope to see you tomorrow where we finish this Lost Belt for good.